Has your condition worsened? Excuse me? Your medical condition, has it grown worse? Not that I know of, no. Is there a ringing in your ears? Are you seeing bright lights or hearing voices? I'm quite well, thank you. No. Clearly you are not. No rational person would do as you have done. Explain yourself. My partner was about to get himself shot. I intervened. Some worthless junkie. For him, you intervene and put us all at risk. Some contemptible junkie who couldn't keep the peace for eight hours. That's right, he couldn't. He was angry because those two dealers of yours had just murdered an 11-year-old boy. I heard about it. He should have let me take care of him. Maybe. Then again, maybe he thought it was you who gave the order. Are you asking me if I ordered the murder of a child? I would never ask you that. I wouldn't know. A couple of time zones away, at least. Beyond that, I'd only be guessing. He has enough money to last forever. He knows he needs to keep moving. You'll never find him. I don't know, Walt. Well, it's what I do, after all. He's out of the picture. I saved his life. I owed him that. But now, he and I are done. Which is exactly what you wanted, isn't it? You've always struck me as a very pragmatic man, so if I may, I would like to review options with you. Of which, it seems to me you have two. Option A, you kill me right here and now. Apparently I have made that very easy for you. You can kill me, no witnesses, and then spend the next few weeks or months tracking down Jesse Pinkman and you kill him too. A pointless exercise, it seems to me, but that is option A. What is option B? I continue cooking. You and I both forget about Pinkman. Forget this ever happened. We consider this a lone hiccup, an otherwise long and fruitful business. I prefer option B. 